Hi guys, I'm Amy Fafra. And I'm Justin Walter. And this is What's Good, the show that's dedicated to positive, uplifting stories from across the globe. Today we're talking about a story that includes inmates that saved the day at a prison and a photographer that helps families in need. Plus, we've got an interview with spiritual guru, Jesse May. right next to me, so what's good in your world? Well, one story that I absolutely loved was about a solar-powered airplane. Have you heard of Solar Impulse 2? No. Okay, it's a solar-powered airplane that has finally, over the past year and a half, made a trip around the world. Two pilots, 17 flights, wow. 23 days in the air total, and it's gone around the world, no fuel, just solar power energy. That's pretty amazing. So cool. So hopefully this technology can be used for a lot of other things. So Amy, what's good with you? I I, I just can't wrap my head around <laughs> that. I can't picture this airplane covered in solar panels. Yeah, the whole wings are just solar panels. We actually have a picture. You can take wow. a look at it. Super cool. I really hope this catches on. Me too. I like Virgin Galactica is going to land, yes. la latch onto this, and we're going to see it sooner than later. Hopefully that brings the prices down. I too. hope so too. No fuel. No fuel. <laughs> Let's get this on we cars. Let's get this everywhere, right? All over the place. So yeah. let's go with me. Remember how I mentioned that glass that my husband broke? Yes. That we got in Italy? Well, look what on arrived in the right? mail on my honeymoon. It finally came. I contacted the company, and they were so kind as to send me a brand new glass. Oh, look so at here that. it is. And I just want to say thank you so much to Acasa K in Florence, Italy. And if anyone wants beautiful glassware, call them up because they go above and beyond for their customers. So cool. Replace this for me free of charge. You guys did not have to do that. And I'm going to sip some champagne this weekend and to look, celebrate. And look, it matches your <laughs> hair. <laughs> I only drink out of glassware that matches my hair. Did Drew Cheers. or you pick out the purple champagne glass? That was all me. All right, that okay. was all me. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to talk about good news. I'm First ready. up, there's a photographer named Stephanie Smith in Annapolis mm -hmm. who decided to take pictures of children with special needs for free. Okay. I love this story. It really touched my heart because she had heard about a mother being denied photos of her and her Down syndrome child. That's and crazy. this Stephanie just thought, what the hell, yeah. which anyone would think, and decided I'm going to do something about this and I'm going to take pictures of families with special needs for free. Okay. So she offered the services and the response was overwhelming. She got so many requests from families and that just showed her that this is an untapped you know, section of the population who is underserved and really would love to experience something like this. And so she takes these photos. She is a self-taught photographer, learned about a year ago, and just decided to offer these services, which I think is super cool. The only thing she asks in return is that she gets her photo taken with each of the children. Oh, that's super sweet. And so sweet. far, she's got 16. Oh, wow. And they're just beautiful photos. And, and you can just find them online and take a look at them. You can find them online and take a look at them. And if you want to request her services, you can find that online as well. Um, but I just love that because it's, it's like taking story. a skill, something that she just taught herself and actually doing something something with that. Um, so is there any new skill that you're learning nowadays? Oh my gosh, I Amy. did just take up photography, so if I get any good at it, I'll offer some free services well, too. Well, last week we did Corpasso and I'm trying to perfect that a little bit more. So. Yes. <laughs> I'll try and work on those work skills on a little bit better. Yeah. Skills. <laughs> well, Amy, that's a really positive, good story. And here's one that kind of stuck out to me. You know, we've heard a lot of negative news stories about the police. And here's a positive one that a lot of outlets picked up. It's about Sergeant Steve Wick of the Houston PD. And there's a photo we're going to show it to you where he is cleaning the feet and clipping the toenails of Quintus, wow. a homeless blind man. And a lot of outlets picked it up because it's a touching story of here's a police department that is doing positive. I mean, yeah. police departments all over are doing positive news, yeah. but what always gets put on the news is negative stories. Absolutely. So in addition to cleaning his feet and clipping his toenails, he also then brought him to a shower and then he is 95% blind due to glaucoma and now he's taking him to eye doctor appointments. Wow. So it's a, a touching story and Talk it's about a good positive story. compassion and humanity mm -hmm. at work right there. Yeah. That's beautiful. So it's a good story. Love hearing those kinds of stories. Well, moving on to another great story. Listen to this. All right. Also in Texas, Texas, you guys are having okay. a pretty good week. Eight inmates in Parker City, Texas helped save an officer's life. So they were in a holding cell when okay. they saw this officer go down. He was unresponsive. They somehow broke out of the cell. And instead of taking his gun or his keys, they helped revive him. Oh, wow. So somebody started doing compressions and doing like CPR on him while they all yelled and got attention of other guards to come down. This man survived, saved his life, and the inmate said, we just we just love the guy. He was a good dude. That, and did they get put back? They got put back, back in the cell. In, oh, that, well, when it's the, almost like, like, you saved my life, so you can go free. Yeah, well, that doesn't they, work that way. When the other guard came down, he was confused at what was happening because they oh, were all out of yeah. the cell, and he didn't know, are they? did they do this to the guard? And they were all like, no, 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 we were actually saving him. So That's a really cool story. The right? only thing I, I think that 
that prison or, you know, they need to work on the, the holding cells a little bit <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah, because it did open if very it's that easily. easy to break out, good that they could save but that thankfully, man. thankfully, thank God they could open it. Yeah. They saved his life. <laughs> it's a good story. Well, you know, keeping on track with Texas, a lot of good things are going on in Texas. Um, you have adopted dogs yes, and pets, right? Yes, I have. Yes. So, you know, a lot of people trying to adopt, you know. Adopt, not shop. Adopt, not yes. shop. Well, here's a story that I thought was awesome at a, a shelter in Texas, in Fort Worth, there was a photo, check this out, of Kyla Francis, who is the senior animal control officer at this shelter in Fort Worth, Texas, displaying empty cages. In one day, 310 pets, the entire slew of pets at the shelter were adopted How in one day. How does that happen? So it was a national campaign called Clear the Shelters Initiative. It was nationwide for a day. Wow. And typically at this shelter, for example, 18 to 20 adoptions go down in one day. 310 really wow. this day. And over the entire nation, 700 shelters per t participated. 46,000 animals adopted 46, through this initiative. 46,000? 46,000. What day? And like, do they do this once a year? I'm not really sure, but it was that's amazing. awesome that that many pets were adopted in one oh, day. And that's beautiful to see empty cages And in look a at shelter. the photos of people who adopted pets from this specific shelter. I mean, amazing. we love our pets here. We do. Nothing will cheer you up quite like a kiss from your puppy. I agree. <laughs> or so your are, kitty or whatever those you're Those are all good stories. Open up your homes to these animals. Yes. Yeah. Well, now it's time to find the silver lining in a not so great story. Okay. It's time for 60 seconds silver lining. Are you ready, All right, Justin? I'm ready. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. This week's story is Pope Francis took a tumble while presiding over mass in Poland. Not so good, right? Okay. That's but he's the bad okay. News. He's okay. He's fine. It was just right, a little okay. slip. Okay. So the bad news is we got 60 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Here we go. The bad news is Pope Francis took a tumble while presiding over mass in Poland. But the good news is this is his first misstep as Pope. Oh, the bad news is Pope Francis took a tumble while doing mass in Poland. But the good news is he's got God on his side. Oh, so who can be against you? <laughs> the bad news is Pope Francis took a tumble while presiding over mass in Poland. But the good news is he has taken us 10 steps forward with his progressive views. Ooh, well, the bad news is the Pope took a misstep and fell. <laughs> but the good out. news is he's demonstrating how he's fallen in love with Jesus. Oh. Oh, tripping, <laughs> stumbling. <laughs> the bad news is Pope Francis took a tumble while presiding over Mass in Poland, but the good news is it's not how many times you fall down, it's how many times you get back Ooh, up. Ooh, well, the bad news is the Pope took a fall, but the good news is it gives a new meaning to tripping. <laughs> you tripping. A good, a good holy meaning. <laughs> Pope Francis, you tripping. You. Yeah. I think we exhausted our Yeah, and I don't know what seconds. I just did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. Well, if you guys have any better punchlines, you can tweet them to us. Our Twitters are right here because you might even have something funnier to say. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Next up, we've got an interview with spiritual guru, Jesse May. Don't go anywhere. I'm here hanging out in beautiful Venice, California with my lovely friend, Jessie May. She's the leader of the Heart Rise Movement, and tonight we're doing a very special event with entrepreneurs and change makers. Jessie, how did this all come about? <laughs> I am so excited. Heart Rise Movement has been a real call from my heart for a long time, and it's just evolved over the course of my own journey honoring my heart of hearts. Uh, so really what it is is it's about celebrating and honoring the heart within each of us that knows the way. It's connecting with each other. It's igniting um, that wildfire that lives inside of us and really staying true to that, to have the courage in the midst of a lot of busy, a lot of crazy, a lot of chaos out there. And what does it look like to really lead with that heart um, in all areas of our lives? And, and as we come together in a heartfelt way, it's amazing how much we can rise and we can really celebrate and honor each other. Well, there's definitely strength and numbers and an energy yeah. and that positivity coming together and you're bringing all these people in one room. Does it just get electric when when this stuff happens? And it does. And it's right around a full moon. I know. We got the full moon. Is the timing on it's, purpose? Well, it is actually. So we love to time it around the full moon. The full moon energy just really activates because we're so connected yeah. rhythmically to the tides, to the sun, to all that energy everything is energy. I mean, Einstein said it, it's a real deal. We feel vibes. Mm -hmm. So the heart is this guiding intuitive rhythm that we all have access to. So when you plug into that and you really connect with that, it can guide you. It can support you. So when you come together and you're in that fuego, yes. watch out. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It's delicious. It I is. love it. When it's did you inspiring. first feel tapped into this? Has this been something that's been a part of you forever? Or are you newly finding this? You know, I've always, to some extent, been intuitive and in touch. And when I really look back and reflect on my life, I always had this sensibility that was 
Mm-hmm. There was a and connection to yeah, heightened awareness. That's right. Like yeah. this, you know, sixth sensory, whatever you want to call it. And an I believe, empath of sorts. Yeah, and yeah. just like sensitive, exactly. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we all have that. And we just, we tend to shut it down. Yeah. But yeah, as a child, I was super sensitive in that way and really mindful and conscious of other people's feelings and very much a sort of feeling like kind of wild free spirit even as a kid so yeah yeah, it's definitely I've learned to harness the energy (laughs) and work with it but it's always been there yeah and now you help inspire other people to live their passions from corporate America to one-on-ones to people with addictions so how beautiful is that to work with all walks of life and help ignite that passion and them on their own personal journey yeah I call it high on heart it's such (laughs) it is such a powerful way to live and it is so rewarding to be able to work with whether it is people like whatever the whatever the role is whatever the story is we all have this innate connection to our truth and when we come back to that I mean whether it's working with corporate CEOs as you said or working with um, inner city kids I do a lot of service work and I do work with a lot of creatives and entrepreneurs because they really respond to it they're like kind of in that yum sauce but <laughs> you know at the end of the day we all have that within us and when we plug into it it's like an electricity and it just ignites something like you said you know the igniting is really yeah. powerful and you really do feel it's like a radiance I say our radiance is contagious but it really is and it rubs off it inspires others to live their truth and it's a, it's a pretty juicy way to live. It's like that giddiness in the pit of your stomach when you're yes. just excited and you don't really know why. Yeah, so you're just like, yay, yes. life. Yes. And what you, do you say to a skeptic, though? Because I know there's people yeah. out there that just don't mm-hmm. really drop into this just yet. Yes. How do you get them into it without being like, in this hippy dippy space mm-hmm. that kind of turns a certain <laughs> set of the population no. off, like the RNC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question, actually. And I actually love working with those people the most. Uh, you know, and typically corporate sort of CEOs, yeah. you know, a and buttoned I buttoned up and have a certain view. And, and what I would say to that is the power of really living and breathing and expressing from the heart is people feel that. So You know, I do sort of gauge the temperature and I'll meet people where they are. And that's part Mm -hmm. of honoring and listening to my own heart. Right. But ultimately, when you respond and you connect and you really meet someone where they are in a heartfelt, sincere way, it's amazing how they will. And they soften into their truth. And it's just, it's a beautiful dance. And, you know, I really do live... You Unapologetic. Walk the walk yeah, I walk the walk. Yeah, this is the real deal. Some people feel it. The so. instant I met you, it was just like this cosmic energy where you're just like, I just hug you. You hug everybody. Which is <laughs> I the do. most beautiful thing with the heart on the left. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Let's do it. Thank you for Yay. a beautiful Aww. interview. I love it. I'm going the wrong way. Again. <laughs> yeah. Love you. I love you. You guys can check out Jessie May online at jessiemay.com. Yeah. She does workshops. She does so many wonderful things. So. Work with companies and creatives and all kinds. Retreats. You yes. go and celebrate and be, you know, high on heart in different juicy places. There's all kinds of be good stuff. Be around this energy. <laughs> you want to make it happen. Thank you for having Thank us tonight. You. Okay. Thank we'll see you. you back in the studio or back at that beautiful house. <laughs> well, we love sharing good news here on What's Good, and we also love sharing your good news. We have been inundated with yes. so many good stories just by posting simply on our Facebook and social media accounts. So here we go, let's share some. So Jen, she says she had an awesome flywheel ca- class this morning with a friend. The sun is shining, I'm healthy. Felix, her cat, is living in New York, New York City. Friends are happy, marriages, babies, travel, everything, teaching yoga. She's got so much good wow. adventure on the horizon. Jen is such a positive person. That's a lot of goodness. A lot Keep of goodness. Keep it coming, you guys. Keep it coming, Jen. My friend Susanna Dalla said, hosting my entire family now. She's Turkish from Turkey. It's hard because I'm used to living alone and with school and work, there's a lot that needs to be done. However, nothing is like family time. Having a blast and feeling blessed and we're not exchange it with anything else in the world right now. Sweet. All I right. love having visitors. Anyone wants to come visit me? I'll LA is a pretty good place. You. Just take a look. Right? It's, yeah, we get like a staycation. So please. <laughs> All right. Michael says traveling the world nonstop. It's been over a year to date with my beloved on an adventure called a city a month.com. What? Yeah. So he retired with his wife and they're traveling. They're living in a different city every like month and traveling there. for their oh retirement. Oh my gosh, How that's cool is that? awesome. Congrats, Michael. Uh, relationship goals. Yes. <laughs> Jennifer Barsky says, I jumped a horse for the first time yesterday afternoon. Ooh. My horse, a horse I never thought I'd be lucky enough to have, with never having taken a jumping lesson before, wow. let alone any riding lesson, period. Two feet, 
no knockdowns. It was the biggest adrenaline rush and best overall feeling I think I've ever had. Something I've always wanted to do, and I'm so glad I finally tried it. Good job, Jennifer. That is awesome. Taking Congrats. up a new hobby and kicking ass. We love it, Jennifer. Good job. Well, that's all the time we have for today's What's Good. Yeah, so we'll see you next week with so much more goodness. And please go out and spread this positivity with the world. We need so much more of it. See you guys next week. Bye.